dear students the next question here in the examples if theta 1 theta 2 are the eccentric angles of the eccentric <coughs> extremities of the focal cord other than vertices of the ellipse and e is ex eccentricity then show that e into cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 equal to cos of theta 1 minus theta 2 by 2 e plus 1 by e minus 1 is equal to cot of theta 1 by 2 into cot of theta 2 by 2 so first result and second result one by one we will calculate so in the solution step first we have to draw the figure according to question theta 1 theta 2 or the eccentric angles of the extremities of the focal cord first figure you have to draw that this is the ellipse equation ellipse figure center this is the focal cord yes this is p this is q p of theta 1 q of theta 2 what is p of theta 1 p of theta 2 i will write it here focus coordinates we know that a e comma 0 so first you have to write the ends or extremities of the focal cord it's a focal cord let p of theta 1 is equal to a cos theta 1 b sin theta 1 and q of theta 2 a cos theta 2 b sin theta 2 are the extremities extremities of focal cord of the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 when a is greater than b this is the information regarding this figure by observing the points p s q which are in collinear why because they are lying on the same line that means focal cord so second point P, S, Q are collinear. So, whenever the points are collinear, slope of SP is equal to slope of SQ according to the figure. Then, slope of SP is equal to slope of QS or SQ. QS only can take it. Whenever two points are available, easy to calculate. The focus coordinate here only I mentioned, here I did not mention, but because here in the figure itself it is there. So, slope of SP, P of theta 1 means A cos theta 1, B sin theta 1. Just here only I will write it, P of theta 1 as a cos theta 1 comma b sin theta 1 even here also a cos theta 2 comma b sin theta 2 so slope of sp this these two x1 y1 x2 y2 so b sin theta 2 minus 0 b sin theta 2 minus 0 by a cos theta minus a cos theta 1 minus a e is equal to slope of q s b sin theta 2 minus 
here see theta 1 we have theta 1 sorry here also theta 1 so b sin theta 2 divided by here theta 2 b sin theta 2 minus 0 by a cos theta 2 minus a d so b sin theta 1 divided by a take common cos theta 1 minus e which is equal to b sin theta 2 divided by a take common cos theta 2 minus e both sides b by a you have to cancel it and then cross multiplication so here sin theta 1 into cos theta 2 minus e is equal to sin theta 2 into cos theta 1 minus e. So sin theta 1 into cos theta 2 minus e sin theta 1 is equal to sin theta 2 into cos theta 1 minus e sin theta 2. Observe carefully dear students. Sin theta 2 cos theta 1 this term I am taking into this sign and minus e sin theta 1 I am taking into this side. Therefore sin theta 1 into cos theta 2 this value we are taking this side now so minus sin theta 2 into cos theta 1 is equal to minus e sin theta 1 we can take here e sin theta 1 minus e sin theta 2 sin a cos b minus cos a sin b sin of a minus b formula so sin of theta 1 minus theta 2 is equal to e take common sin theta 1 minus sin theta 2 i hope you understand it here after that after reaching this step sin theta 1 sorry sin theta 1 minus theta 2 is equal to e times of sin theta 1 minus sin theta 2 we know the formula in trigonometry in a half angle formula sin a can be written as 2 sin a by 2 into cos a by 2 By using this, sin theta 1 minus theta 2 can be written as 2 times of sin theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by 2 into cos theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by 2, which is equal to E into key bracket sin C minus sin D. Even here also I write formula for students not able to remember. sin c minus sin d 2 cos c plus d by 2 sin c minus d by 2 so 2 cos c plus d by 2 that means theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 into sin theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by 2 both sides First, you have to cancel the term 2. After that, sin theta 1 minus theta 2, sin theta 1 minus theta 2 will be cancelled. The remaining cos of theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by 2 is equal to e times of cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 divided by 2. That's what they are asking to prove the first result. The first result was completed. This is the first result, dear students.
result one and split the first result is over from this result cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 by 2 we can take here cos of theta 1 minus theta 2 by 2 by cos of theta 1 plus theta 2 divided by 2 is equal to e e means what e by 1 by competendo and dividendo property what is the property competendo and dividendo here i am going to apply by competendo and dividendo so the property i am going to write here a by b is equal to c by d that implies that a plus b by a minus b is equal to c plus d by c minus d that's what so by using this uh, it is in the form of a plus b by a minus a plus a by b by c by d. a by b equal to c by d so by using this we can write it as cos of theta 1 by 2 minus theta 2 by 2 minus so plus is there no in the numerator plus cos of theta 1 by 2 plus theta 1 theta 2 by 2 this also can be written as simply I am writing cos of theta 1 by 2 minus theta 2 by 2 whole divided by cos of theta 1 by 2 plus theta 2 by 2 is equal to a by 1 from this step we are writing a by b is equal to c by d so a plus b by a minus b cos of theta 1 by 2 minus theta 2 by 2 plus cos of theta 1 by 2 plus theta 2 by 2 is equal to e plus 1 by e minus 1 so this side we got it now cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b what is the formula sorry here minus now denominator minus cos of a minus b plus cos of a plus b 2 cos a cos b in every term trigonometry formulas are required still I'm writing some students convenience cos a minus b plus cos a plus b is equal to 2 cos a cos b another set cos a minus b minus cos a plus b is equal to 2 sin a sin b so numerator will be here so numerator will becomes 2 times of cos theta 1 by 2 into cos theta 2 by 2 divided by denominator 2 sin theta 1 by 2 sin theta 2 by 2 is equal to e plus 1 divided by e minus 1 2 2 get cancelled cos of theta 1 by 2 by sin of theta 1 by 2 is cot theta 1 by 2 so cot theta 1 by 2 into cos theta 2 by 2 by sin theta 2 by 2 cot theta 2 by 2 is equal to e plus 1 by e minus 1 hence the result or hence proved I hope you understand that dear students the two questions Till now they didn't ask in the public examination, but we may expect in, especially in AP, chances are there to ask. In any way, in 2022, uh, according to the 70% in TS, it is not there. But in AP, chances are there this question to ask in the public examination. I hope you understand this students. Thank you for watching our channel, Maths with Panikra. Jai